Hello again, and welcome back to some more Front Mission 4. I took a little bit of a break. Um, that that last mission in order to get that done was a bit grueling with the with the simulator grind, but we did it. Uh, so the Blower Naval attacked us on the Iberian Mega Float base, and we fought them and defeated them, only to have missiles be launched at the UCS fleet, uh, which is likely going to start a war. Let's see what happens next. Damage report. None, sir. We got them all. Good. But I don't understand it. The Mega Float base was under attack by an unknown assailant, wasn't it? Why would they be firing missiles at us? Maybe they thought we were the ones attacking them, sir. We aren't, are we? No, sir. I checked with headquarters, and none of our ships are in the vicinity of the Mega Float base. I wonder what's going on. Sir, the fact remains that we have been attacked by the EC. We must retaliate, requesting permission to proceed with the landing operation, sir. Hmm. Commander. Permission granted. Send the Marines to Madeira. It's good to see you people are all right. What? Who are you? We're the, we're the British Special Operations Team. We just arrived a few moments ago. Glad you made it, but we're far from being all right. The base commander was killed, and we'll probably need more than ten hours to restructure our chain of command. With this much damage, we won't be able to do anything for the EC fleet when it arrives. Do you know who fired those cruise missiles? Cruise missiles? When? We saw them being launched toward the UCS fleet soon after we landed. What? No one ordered such a thing. We were too busy trying to get things under control. I see. What about Madeira, sir? If those cruise missiles reach the UCS fleet, they'll treat it as justification to land their troops on Madeira Island. How strong are the defenses on the island? There's nothing you could classify as defenses. Madeira could never repel a UCS amphibious landing. You must tell everyone in Madeira to evacuate as soon as possible. Our troops there won't leave until all civilians have been evacuated. They're using their transport planes to get them out, but it's going slow. They don't have enough transports in their base. Then let us borrow all the transport planes you have here. We can help the Madeira and troops evacuate. What? I can't let you do that. I'm, I must ask headquarters for authorization. That will take too much time. Please, sir, you must let us go. All, all right. Take the transports. I'll assume full responsibility. I still need to report this to headquarters. What is your team's designation? We are... We are the Durandal. The Durandal? But you're not supposed to be... You can tell headquarters whatever you wish, but we are still going to Madeira with those transports. I... I can't take responsibility for that. Then tell them we stole your transports. It won't be your fault. Seed. Don't worry, Elsa. 
we're doing the right thing. If you are going to try and save the people and troops of Madeira, I guess I don't care who you are. I was instructed by Vice Minister Allison to give you our latest equipment, but now that I know you are the Durandal, I can't let you have them. I can only give you access to our standard equipment. I'm sorry, it's all I can do for you. We will probably have to fight the UCS once we land on Madeira. I would prefer to avoid combat, but we need to buy time for the evacuation effort. If we bring all the transports here with us, we should be able to evacuate everyone on Madeira in one trip. But the EC troops will have to leave their Vonsers and equipment behind. UCS troops are highly trained as the Zathern army or the Blauen Nabel. We will also be outnumbered, so we should avoid fighting them head on. The EC transport pilots here are well trained. They should be able to avoid any anti-aircraft fire as long as we buy them enough time to lift off. I'll need Robert to stay in the air while we fight so our transport won't be used for the evacuation effort. Yeah, it's really hard to uh, do a airstrike when you're also picking up evacuees. Alright, we're going to do a, an initial save for the session. Mega float command. Uh, looks like they added one, uh, and I may do it just so I don't have to do another like full, full session of of grind. But let's see what we got in the shop. See if there's anything worth you know building up funds for. Looks like it's the same set. Want to do a quad with rockets? No, I don't want to do a quad with rockets. All right, I think. I think we're just good. Anyone need items? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, that's good. It's good to know. We don't have to, like, buy a bunch of units. Um, do the pilot setup, and then... Nah, we'll just do the simulator. All right, so I'm going to do the simulator. Probably going to cut it out like I usually do. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right. We just did a nice little simulator mission on the Mega Float map. Um, let's go do some pilot setup. What have we got? A lot of points. Let's get to that rank six and see what we can get. Perfect shot. Ooh, that sounds great. What does anti-break do? Oh, that sounds good too. A lot of good items. Well, if we do perfect shot and plus four skill slots, you know, just in case. Come over here. You're already in rank six. Okay, this is the end. Before I go buy uh, skill stuff for you.
Hmm. Anti skill, huh? Yeah, that's nice. Definitely want the invasion though. Let's rush. Wow. Ooh. We want those for sure. We'll do that. You definitely need that evasion plus six percent. Oh, there's so many things. Oh, that's really nice. We'll snag that. Let's hold. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Let's see. Opposite of the other one. Um, Awesome. Perfect missile sounds great though. So we'll do that. And the max AP. Set some skills. We are out of space there. We have room for some stuff. I want perfect shot. I also really want to replace that, which I think means because double shot, you, it'll work with two different weapons, so I I don't have to be double machine gun. I I've, I've been a long time in swapping that out, um, and then I have. Something that I can throw in that's a two pointer. One of the lower shots. Well, I don't do terror because that drops their evasion. Sounds good. Sounds great. Replace Revenge 2 with Revenge 3. And get you some skill points. You have so many. So much EP. What could I buy for you? You got a metric ton of AP. More skill slots. good for now. I'll have to think about what I want to do with you. OK. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what I want to do with you. There's some bazooka arms you can get, and I wanted to see if any of those were available. Uh, but I guess not. I'd, I'd make him a half bazooka, half missileer, and then I could give him some bazooka skills. But I think we're fine for now. All right. Well, I did the the quick simulator. Um, I got myself a nice hot mint green tea because it's a nice chilly evening. I think I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. Let's move out. Board that transport. Save Madeira. Or evacuate Madeira, rather. This carrier must be huge to just have all these sponsors on it. Those helicopters, man. I think they fit, what, like four? And then you have the amphibious landing craft? Oh my goodness. The UCS does not mess around. had their squadron emblem on the on the torso there, I think. That was pretty neat. Yeah, four Vonsers to a hell a big ass helicopter. I mean you can kinda see the cockpit on the front is like very small in comparison. Yep, those guys are dead.
All that frost work just to get some gusts out. Oh, and some frost. Okay, that's good. Frosts are like heavy assault and gusts are like light assault. That's my impression at least. We're too late. The UCS has already landed at Madeira. And those cruise missiles did head toward the UCS fleet. It's reason enough for them to attack. Yes. And Wagner's responsible. What do you want to do? Should I turn back? No. Take us down. What? You can't take on the entire UCS army. We only need to buy enough time to evacuate the civilians and the troops that are stationed here. Are you all right with this, Zeed? Of course. All right. Hang on tight. I'll give you a nice opportunity to do more simulators. Hey, I got ten. Ugh, I just did six. I think... I think we're good for a, for a second, but I will do a save, uh, an incremental save. And we'll do the talking bit. Remember, our objective is to delay the UCS troops advance so that this, all the civilians and EC troops can be evacuated. We'll have the transports waiting far away from the front lines. We'd be fighting for nothing if we lost the transports. Do not forget to ready the Vanthers. I'll double check, but I don't think there's anything added to the store. We do have some data on the UCS Army's standard tactics, but the odds are still against us. All we have to do is to get the UCS troops' attention until our own troops retreat, right? No problem! He's so optimistic. We'll be landing soon. Is everybody ready? Alright. So I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. There's still nothing new. No. Nothing new. All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Actually, real quick. I haven't done this in a while. What is everyone's armor type? everyone to fire that's going to be on the front line. But for you, you should not be on the front line. Uh, you can be piercing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do a quick, like, before we move out, save. Yeah. We'll begin the mission. Finally.
That was a knowing look from that Vonzer. my only... Yep, because that's where we came from. So we're going to do the Tona. Bosh. Elsa. Z. Hermes. Beck. Destroy all enemy units. At least one British Army Vonzer must survive. All easy troops. Please retreat to the east. You should be able to reach the transports once you are out of the city. All right. If I remember correctly, I will not be able to control the EC troops. They're going to be automatically moved for me, and they'll move and they'll attack. We're going to take a quick peek at what we got here. Uh, some Valiance of Missiles. They're all launchers. Uh, attacking them. It's a gust machine gun, grenadier frost with knuckles, grenadier frost with knuckles, machine gun gust, machine gun gust, seagull missile and machine gun helicopter, seagull. Yeah, and some more gusts. I can repair them. Um, which I may try to do. I think that the biggest problem is going to be the gusts, honestly, because these guys have anti-fire armor. The gusts are just going to rip into them. Um, so since we have Gus up here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split my forces. I'm going to send Latona straight down the middle, and she's just going to start, like, I want to turn off your ability to attack on every guy that she can. Uh, just to, like, buy us some time. If, if, if I can save all of the mechs, I want to try and save all the mechs. I may not be able to do it, but I kind of want to try. Um, all right, so I'm going to send Bosch down here. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I'm going to have my missile boys stay up here. And they could probably like get into range by, their, by themselves to missile these guys, and that's fine. But I'm going to need help to get the guys down on the south lane, as it were. Yeah, since I'm facing west. Uh, my supply drops. There is one there. So that's fine. That's probably what I would end up using. So I really put Bosch on the wrong side of the deploy, but oh well. Uh, and then Hermes, we're just going to try and heal whoever needs it the most. But we'll start with the middle lane, and then we'll, we'll pick north or south from there. I don't know what my airstrike needs are going to be yet, so I'm going to wait a turn, see who moves. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be moving. 
These Valiants, because they are launchers, they are not fast. So they're going to move like two or three a turn. Two. And then they're going to like try to shoot if someone's in range. So these gusts are going to swarm them quickly. And the frosts don't have to swarm them because they're all grenadiers. And they can just area of effect the whole street. I don't think the grenades are as big of a deal. Like, they will be if I ignore them for too long, but I think, like, the biggest threat is the gusts. Which is weird, because, you know, light assault. Speed these guys up. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna chew the armor, especially since they don't have to move as far once they're in range. All right, let's see how this looks. I can get into the Gus way. I think the ally can move through me. I'm not going to be making use of a lot of links up, at least not initially. extra range. Honestly though... If they move one, two, he can't move two, so do that. Uh, everyone will move out. Some guys will move in. Sorry whoever lives in that house. way, didn't I? Hey, guys. I, oh, wow. I really don't want you to attack. I'll keep trying. Yeah, hit that guy. Hit him again. Yeah. Really help your buddy out. Yeah. Yeah, 
now all of them can get out. That's all that mattered. I just hope that none of them run through it. Come on. Focus on me. I'm fine with that. can shoot him this time. Honestly, probably won't be around much longer. Right in the middle. Yeah, they're gonna need healing next. Ah. I should have done one one further in. south. I may lose a guy. I'm gonna lose a guy, aren't I? Oof. I just can't get there. Get him though. I can missile him though. This guy's got to die, so let's let's try and finish him off. Perfect. Yes! Help out your friend. You can take out that other arm. Oh, beautiful. Because they can link off of my radar. It's truly perfect. Those other two are going to get hit with the airstrike. I should be able to do a repair on that one guy that's super weak. And then run Hermes back up. The grenade might finish him off anyway, though. Or the other gust. Yeah, he's dead. Sorry, buddy, I tried. Alright, let's make that the only one lost. I can get everyone else out. 
gonna be close. Yeah, spend your grenades on one unit. helicopter. I gotta clear this lane. Wasn't really the guy I wanted to get, but I'll take it. Meantime, one of you guys can stop attacking anytime now. Probably should just be attacking, but. Oh, come on. You little evadey bugger. Gust. One gust left. That guy needs the healing. see guys out. Nah, he's good. Alright, middle lane is the one that's got the guy that I need to heal. guy knocked out. Could have could have gone for the arms, but very close. Got some arms. Both arms better than I could have hoped. 
Alright guys, you're almost out of there. Finish him off. Try and get that one guy healed up anyway, just in case they pull a sneaky on me. But I think they're okay now. Needle does more damage. The only reason why I wasn't using it. I like having both impact and piercing for Malay. If I'm gonna double up on Malay, because that way, if um, you know, if I run into an anti piercing guy, I can use the impact and vice versa. But like, if they're anti fire, I'd rather just use whatever does most damage. Link battle. Helicopter. It's too close for my Yes! Too close for my missile guys to be shooting the other one. And that one, like, he's behind a building on this. I don't. My homing's not that great. Get out of here, guys. Got you. That might be a problem. I may have to start healing my guys. All right, you think. But it's okay to sneak up on my guys with your grenades. Oh man. Um back to that shotgun. Jury probably does more damage, but I'm just gonna hit all your parts. Yes. Wasn't far enough away. Hermes. Go heal. Oh goodness.
I'm gonna make you wish you let me EMP you. Gonna spread the love a little. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna do a parting shot before you flee? Oh, thank you so much, buddy. I mean, so much. Oh, are we gonna get this helicopter out? Not this round. But the grenadiers are toast. We've officially done the bare minimum for this mission. We're going to bring it home. I'm going to go heal Latona. And then we're going to wreck some mechs. Well, he didn't even have the dodge. He just knew it was going to miss. All right. You. Repair Latona. Latona. End this dude's life. Close. Elsa, finish this guy off. You have a shotgun, you should be able to do it. It'll hit both parts. Do it again. It's over. Perfect. Goodbye, helicopter. There was probably a bonus if I didn't save all the mechs. But that's okay. You know, I'm not trying to 100% this. I clearly am not going to 100% this. But I think I did pretty darn well. Only losing one. Pretty good.
All right. That's not bad. I think I'm going to cut this one short, and I might do another session later. I just had some time, and I thought, ah, do a, do a quick mission, a front mission. Um, so, yeah. We'll, we, we, we got our guys out of the island, but we're still at the beginning of a armed conflict with the UCS. So we'll see how this uh, shapes up. If we can like cool things off, or if it's going to end up being full-scale war between Europe and uh, basically America. Um, we'll find out next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.